I'm about to take off a lot of stress off of you and show you how to automate your calendar with the free calendar app. We're getting started right now. What is going on? Zachary Babcock here and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips that are going to help you get to the next level as an underdog entrepreneur, make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. With that being said, we're about to get into the meat details. I'm going to show you how to automate your calendar with a free calendar app that's going to take up it's going to free up a lot of time and it's going to more importantly save yourself a lot of stress and a lot of headaches. Um, you'll be able to just send links to people whenever they're ready to book. You can set it up on your web pages and the best part is they have a forever free plan and they also have uh, upgraded paid plans if you need specific features. Uh, you can check it out. It's called Acuity. It's in the description below. It's also in the comments below. With that being said, let's head to the computer and I'm going to show you how to use this. All right, when you log into Acuity, this is what you typically, this is what the, the interface is going to look like. Now, um, before we get into, uh, you know, how to automate your calendar and everything, I just want to show you a quick few things, how to set everything up. So if you slide down here to my, my account, um, this is where you can set up your time zone, um, your email username, and, um, and your business name, of course, and also your uh, current plan. Now, I'm currently on the growing business plan, and the reason why I like this plan is because I can get six different calendars. Like, I can have a calendar for my podcast, I can have a calendar just for a one on one meetup, I can have a calendar for like my coaching clients, whatever. Um, and that's the reason why I like the growing business plan for $19 a month. And it has all these advanced features, like, you know, being able to sync to your other calendars, like Google Calendar. Um, whole bunch of other stuff that I just won't go over to over for the purposes of this video but you can always start with a free plan as well um, and then once you have that in then I like to go to business setting first and then business settings under here um, first you know you're gonna want to uh, set up your appointment types so this is like your actual different calendars so I have a calendar for my podcast I had one for my old coaching program when I used to coach uh, I need to get rid of this and needs to be updated. I have 30 minute meeting calendar and then I have another one for my other coaching program which is not available right now and I need to uh, delete that too. But you know I have different types of calendars. This is where you can you know uh, set a new type of service which is a new t different kind of calendar and uh, you can create it and then after that after you create it you can even create intake form questions so if somebody signs up uh, you know to book an appointment you can ask them a specific amount of questions and have them answer it here you could just create those forms easily through here very easy to use um, this is where you can sync with your other uh, calendars you know like I you put in the name of your uh, Google Calendar and then you'd want to hit off if you want uh, to block off time in acuity when someone books like on your Google Calendar you know it automatically block off the time in acuity as well and then um, you can set reminders or whatnot. Uh, the integrations, you know, there's so many different integrations. You know, you can put your Facebook Pixel, your, um, you know, QuickBooks, so many, you know, for the purposes of video, uh, come in and check it out. Then you can set up payment settings. So I don't need any reason, and I have no reason for people to pay me through Acuity. They do that when they go through my funnel on ClickFunnels. However, if that's what you wanted to simplify things, um, then yeah, you can easily set up Stripe or, you know, even Square, um, whatever. And then email settings. This is where we'll get in that. This is where you'll set up like your uh, co your initial confirmation email, and um, you know then your reminders. You know like one day, 24 hours before, 48 hours before, one hour before, whatnot. Cancellation. You'd set up the how you'd want it and rescheduling. All that you could come in here and uh, play around with it. But let's get into the actual availability. How to actually automate your calendar. So. When you get to this page, you go under business settings and click availability. And now up top, like first you want to select which calendar. So right now I could select, you know, calendar one and, you know, it's going to have different settings. So under podcasts, uh, I have this calendar has regular hours every week and I set it up. This is like that regular hours every week. You just click on it. If I wanted to do something on Monday, I could say from 1 p.m. and then I put a dash to 2 p.m. and I hit enter um, and then uh, or just click off of it and now that's set and then there, there's always available on that now if I wanted to remove that like I do I don't want it just take it delete it and then um, after after I delete it then I just click off boom and now it's gone it's closed on that day 
So you could just fill in your hours. Say if you want to put 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., it would fill that in. Then you wanted to put in 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., you can go and put that in underneath that. Um, and then that's the way you have your regular hours. But you would have to have this box checked. This calendar has regular work hours every week. It has to check if you want those to populate automatically throughout here. And then, um, you know, you can always go in, like, say you're going out of town. Like, I, I'm going out of town next week to speak in San Diego. I just clicked on it and erased the hours so people couldn't book. It's really simple. Just click on it and, boom, you can set closing, uh, play with the, the settings or whatever. Or you can set hours or whatnot. Um, so it's really simple and easy. You can hit block time right here. And you can put in the date and the time that you want to block. You can make it repeat if you want. You can choose which calendar you want it on. Uh, it's very simple, easy to use, um, really smooth interface, and it, and it allows you the availability to um, to do m many things with it. Now, um, if you come up here and click on appointments, uh, yes, I don't want to save that. You can click on appointments. You can always view it from. Uh, today like what you got going on today if you click on today and it'll show you what you have going on then if you click the week it'll show you what all the appointments you have throughout the week and then if you show it through the month it'll show you everything that you have throughout the month and then you can always use this to go back and forth and check it you can add new appointments here you can add new calendars you can add a new class um, you can block off time very simple easy makes life so much easier um, here's a client list like every time somebody books an appointment with you they have to give you an email so now you have all of their emails and you can always export this if you wish to uh, add them to your email list um, here's a report so you can check out what's going on and then here's where you actually import and export your actual um, emails from when clients book with you and then here's a client scheduling page you can copy the link and paste this like this is a general one you can actually get the specific links eat as well for each like if you go under business settings and appointment types back to where you create those calendars you this is where you can get the direct scheduling link like so if I just want to give them just my link for my podcast but not for the 30 minute booking then I would come right here where it says podcast and I would click on it and then boom copy the link and then share that you can also get the embed embedding link um, to these as well so like um, I click on embedding boom I copy that paste that into my click funnels or um, WordPress wherever and then there would actually be a page where people could book for that and uh, it's really as simple as that man and this is how you can automate your schedule and save yourself a ton of time and a ton of headaches in the process Alrighty, if that video was awesome, hit it with a thumbs up. If it sucked, hit it with a thumbs down. Don't be afraid to. I need the specific feedback so I know that I can get better. And if you want the best tips that are gonna help you get to the next level as an underdog entrepreneur so that you can prove those haters wrong and get the respect that you deserve, make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell notifications. That way, you don't miss anything. I'm gonna go for now, but until then, check out some more of these videos that are gonna help you level up that I'm gonna throw at you right now. Put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. Uh -oh. This that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in, to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.